What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create better quality images on Midjourney. And there are really two things that you can do, kind of a third, and we're going to go over the first one now. The first one is creating the image using the latest version quality, which is version 4. Now, Midjourney should automatically put you on version 4, but I've seen a lot of images go through where I'm like, okay, maybe they're using version 2 or version 3, and they're definitely downscaled. So the way you do that is at the end of your prompt, you put dash dash V space 4. Let's see if we can find an example real quick. Here we go. Gun mounted drone dash dash V space 4. Now, like I said, you could go into your settings by typing forward slash settings, and it'll bring it up, and you can choose MJ version 4. However, I've noticed that running on MJ version 4 plus adding the version 4 to the prompt nets you the best image. I'll show you an example. The prompt is banana, and this is version 1. As you can see, it's kind of decrepit. looks more like a plantain or a squash, but I still upscaled the second image because it looked you know, the best out of all of those. And it came out to this. So that's not very good. And then I used a prompt where I didn't put dash dash v4. I only had it in the settings. And it came out to this. And it looks a lot better than version 1, obviously. But they don't really look like bananas. There's, there's not a lot of cohesion in the images. They don't make sense. But I still upscaled the first image and got this. Bananas, but something's wrong. And then... The third time, I still used banana, but I used the settings on version 4, and I used version 4 written into the prompt. And I got these four results, and 1, 2, and kind of, or 1 and 3, and kind of even 2 look great. But I upscaled 3, and it came out to this. And it's still not perfect, but it's the best I could do with a single word prompt. Now, if you want to get the exact image that's in your mind, you're going to have to write out more. So I suggest starting out as thin as possible, as short of a prompt as possible, and adding to it. So this banana didn't come out well, so maybe I can clarify I only want a single banana, um, or maybe I want a bundle of bananas, and I want a certain color background, and I want a certain you know, layout. Maybe I want an overhead shot, a front shot, and the banana, banana peeled open. So you've got to work with the prompt, sculpt it as you go to get the image you want. Now, the second way to create a higher quality image is going into settings and choosing high quality. However, it is double the cost. So when you're on a plan or even the free version, you have an allotted amount of GPU usage. And each picture takes a little bit of render from that GPU usage. So if you're using high quality, if you don't know exactly what type of prompt you want, you end up burning through that GPU usage, and now you have to pay for additional usage uh, on a per-use basis, or you just have to wait till next month. So I don't recommend going to high quality unless you know exactly what you want. Stay base quality, or even go half quality if you want to you know, speed up the render time of your, Im of your images and then switch to the higher qualities. And then the last way, which you know, kind of changes the uh, the image quality is changing how you upscale. So the regular upscale is the one everybody's using. Uh, I recommend that overall. The light upscale is ends up being just more pixelated, not what you want. However, the beta upscale, it's really hit or miss. It's 50-50. Sometimes it'll just blow the regular upscale out of the water, and sometimes it comes out more like the light upscale. So you could try switching to beta upscale, but ultimately regular upscale, high quality, and version 4 is going to be how you create the best image possible on Midjourney. Thanks for watching.